Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Lena. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do just like the typical mm, something books for 20 something. <laughs> today we're going to do 22 books for 2022. Yes, this is a tradition. We need to make it. <laughs> I have compiled a list here of 22 books that I really want to get to this year because sometimes I just focus so much on like new releases and such that I forget about the books that I really wanted to read beforehand. So I have mostly here books that I already own or that uh, have been out for some time. They are not new releases, none of them, if I'm correct. Maybe some of them are from the year before, but that's it. Let's just get started because it is a pretty long list. <laughs> so I have this one in my last year's list, but this is a Dragonborn uh, chair by Ted Williams. I really want to read Ted Williams. Last year I did not have the time to read like really long tomes because I was really focused on trying to get back to reading. And now that I'm just taking it sl like slowly, I'm very happy to tell you that I really want to read this book. <laughs> And I just really want to read Ted Williams in general. He's such a staple in epic fantasy. I just have to. Also, getting a physical copy of this was such a pain in the ass. Like getting like a normal copy of this. So fucking complicated, but yes. I really, really, really want to read this. You're going to see it in the next video, but I finished the first Lord trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. You can see my thoughts there. But <laughs> I really want to read uh, A Little Hatred. This came out two or three years ago. I believe it's also set in the same world as the first law. That's why I wanted to just finish that trilogy before setting this one. But I have so much more hope for this series. Like many of my friends have also really liked it. Those that really weren't into the first law. So I'm super happy and I really want to read this one. It's uh, probably going to be Green Dark Fantasy also. But yeah, I really want to read this one. Even though I haven't really clicked with the first law, I still really want to read Joe Abercrombie because I'm really into what he does, but it needs more plot. Give me more plot and then everything will be fine. But yeah, I have really high hopes for this one. Then I have here The Secrets of Ying She by Alma Alexander. I really want to read this book. Uh, some of my friends got this one for me for my birthday, so I'm super grateful. But yeah, I really want to read this one. It's basically about a society in China, if I remember correctly, where they were just like, is this sisterhood? Uh, doesn't matter where you came from, but all these women like conspire together. It feels super interesting. I think it's going to be just like the perfect type of book for me. So yeah, I really, I really want to get this one done. Like I, I must, I must. Then because I should have already done this, but I really need to finish The Wheel of Time. I'm currently on book seven. It's a very long series. I mean, I enjoy them, but I don't love them completely. So 14 books plus a uh, prequel, a lot. So yeah, I'll try my best and finish this series this year. I might just read the whole The Wheel of Time for an entire month and be done with it. But yeah, I do really want to see how it unfolds. So I'm, I'm very intrigued with the uh, main premise of the series, but it drags a bit. It didn't have to be like a 14 book series. Nothing should be farting long, <laughs> like nothing. But yeah, I really want to finish the whole time. I should, I have to. Then this series, I also had it on my last year's video, but I just really want to read it and I, I just couldn't fit it anywhere. But this is the 12 Kings of Sherakai by Bradley B Blue, Blue. I don't just, that, that's it, that's it. But this is a desert, desert fantasy for what I understand and I've owned this for like three or four years and I just really want to read it but for what I understand also this first book is not the best one so I'm a little bit bummed about it also my edition has like the tiniest of fonts like how am I supposed to read that so I'll just get the book and try to read along but yeah I really want to read this one then I want to read Shards of Earth by Adrian Tchaikovsky I just really want to read uh more from this author this year I've tried two books really love one really dislike the other so I've read uh, The Doors of Eden and Child and Children of Time I love Children of Time uh the Doors of Eden didn't click with me. I don't know what it was about it. I thought it was going to be just my jump, but I gave it three stars. I was just like, okay, sure. So I just want to 
read more from him but the thing is he writes so many fucking books and novellas every single year i lost count in track of what i was supposed to read but i just really want to read the charts of Elf because it's a kind of first contact with alien cyber folk so yeah <laughs> then this is a must i have to do this uh this is ray bearer by jordan Fuego. I just really need to read this. That's it. This is, uh, I think it's YA fantasy. I'm not sure if it's adult or YA, but I just need to read this. And I also should read the sequel that has already come out, but I will do it. Like, I think I'm actually might read this next. Once I'm done with all my current reads, I might read this one next, because it's pretty short. And I've been really mood reading lately because uh, physically I'm reading the SPF FC books, but I'm audiobooking anything that I want. And it's just so magical. <laughs> I've already read like seven books this month, so I'm super happy about it. But I really need to read Ray Bearer. And I'll do it. I'll do it. I promise. I'll do it. <laughs> then I have here one that was one of my most anticipated releases for last year. But the reviews were really mixed. So I was a little bit scared. So I decided to just wait a bit. But this is There's a Prince by Peter P. Brett. He's the author of The Demon Cycle. And this is a apparently is actually a direct sequel to the first uh, series. And I really like the first series. It's one of my favorites of all time. I know it's pretty controversial because a lot of people don't like it. They, <laughs> they really like uh, the take that it took, like in the turn that it took uh, after book three. And I understand that, but I really liked it. So I really wanted to read this. And it follows like the, the songs of the characters from the first book, if I remember correctly, but I don't know. I just really want to read it, but I was a little bit scared. So I'll try it. I just love the first series so much that I don't want to be disappointed. But yeah, also I need to discover, like, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Then another fantasy that I've been trying to read for a long time. My book club hasn't really read it, but because I was in such a slump, I didn't manage to get to it. This is The Ninth Reign by Jen Williams. I just really want to read this book and I've been trying to say it not trying. I've been saying it for a year or two at least, but I bought this two years ago. I still haven't read it. I have to. <laughs> like, these uh, covers are so beautiful. I really want to get uh, these editions and they, are, and they are apparently super difficult to get. I haven't like had a, that much trouble with it, but apparently in the US it's super difficult. Still, I really want to read it. The ninth reading. It's fantasy, but it has to do with I find it like a lost town or something like that. So I just really want to. <laughs> Damn, this is such a shame. <laughs> but Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. Uh, one of my main goals for last year was to read uh, Robin Hobb in general. Didn't do it. <laughs> I was such a mess of reading last year. I it, it was a fucking miracle that I managed to complete like my reading goal last year. Completely like bunkers. But I really want to finish this first trilogy because I know it's the weakest of all of them, of the realm of the elder, elderling. Oh, it's such a hard word for me. But I just want to finish this so I can get to the other ones. I really want to read the mad ships ones and the fools. But I have to finish this one first. Even though some of my friends have not read it in order. <laughs> but still, I really want to just finish with this ones and just go ahead. And it's basically follow. It's basically about following uh, Fitz. He's a bastard and he's basically trying to be an assassin. So it has like all the points to be great. I enjoyed the first book, didn't love it, but I think it was pretty okay. So I really need to read the next one. Then some sci-fi. I really want to read Snow Crash by Neil Stephenson. This is uh, apparently pretty cyberpunky also. So I've uh, on this for a bit. Uh, I think it was Scott who told me that this was superb. So I just really want to read it, honestly. And I should have read it. I try another one. Oh no, it was uh, William Gibson. I thought about the peripheral, but that's William Gibson. I love uh, Seven Eves by this author. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to pretty enjoy this, but uh, I'm afraid because this is considered a classic. So we'll see. I'm always afraid with that. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is uh, of course science fiction. So yeah, I think it's going to be great. But we'll see. Then another series that I should finish, <laughs> finally. This is The Ikesar Falcon by K.S. Vijasa. This is book two in the Chronicles of the Queen Beach. The third book came out last year and I still haven't read the second book. I tried to uh, start it, but I was in a reading slump, so I didn't finish it and I never came back to it. Sorry, I'm a mess like that. So yeah, I really want to read it, 
basically and finish this one the first one surprised me for good and for bad because i was expecting like uh politics and such but it was the complete opposite but see i'll tell you i really like talia even though it's a pretty annoying character apparently but hmm i i just need to finish this <laughs> like that's the only thing that i have to do i just need to finish this then another sci-fi like this other i tried to read uh last year but i didn't manage it this is ian uh Vanks. this is the algebra i've been given some recommendations of starting for like in another book but because i own this one i kind of want to start in this one honestly but he has so many books and i think he he not only writes um sci-fi but also kind of thriller type of books if i remember correctly because he has like this collection here these are like his sci-fi and then you have like his other books if i if i'm saying it right but yeah i just really want to try it. uh the player of games i think is the book that uh, has been recommended to me even though it's a part two you can read them separately apparently but yeah i just want to read anything by him honestly i'll probably start with this one because i own it already but 100 will happen like i'm prioritizing these books this the, the next months i'm just probably just reading from this bunch of books but i have to read this like it's a must it's a must i cannot believe that i have never read ian banks like such a shame but here i am oh my god this is going to be the pile of shame um the fifth season by nk jameson hear me out i have read the fifth season i still haven't finished the trilogy that's the problem i have read the first one but i haven't finished the other ones so i have to <laughs> like i did actually really like the first one though i have to say that i started reading it uh in spanish i had like the spanish edition of this and i had to switch it because the second tense in spanish felt so unnatural that i was just like oh this is weird so i switched to the spanish uh to the english edition and i listened to this one with the audiobook and that made such a difference for me but yeah i really liked it in general but i felt like the story was just like done so i just didn't have like the need to to continue but i will i must i have to <laughs> then another like pile of shame i just really need to finish the paternus trilogy by dirk ashton i know why i haven't yet it's just i i actually have like the audiobook downloaded like it's not like in my library on audible no i haven't like downloaded on the library so i just have to play play and that's it but i don't know why but i feel like i should reread uh the first book before jumping into the second one so probably that's my feeling like oh my god trouble of just reading the first again and then going to the second one but i'll probably just reread the first one and go to the second one just like i'm going to do this a similar thing with um the monster bar command i'm probably going to read uh the trader bar command again and then read the monster probably going to happen <laughs> then i have here dark apprentice i don't know why but this looks amazing by val neil uh this is one of the books for spfbo like it's calling to me it has something it has something uh one of my uh friends book club has already read this and they apparently really liked it in general but yeah it's basically about the apprentice of a dark mage it's pretty grim dark also apparently super excited about it should be happy should read it immediately got it for christmas so i'm super excited then i have here Soling tongues by felix blackwell i got this as a recommendation and because it is from someone that i really trust <laughs> i was just like okay i'll buy it but this is apparently a horror type of book so i'm pretty excited uh cabin in the books uh cabin in the woods like lonely something is out there so it's amazing like i really want to read it i wish it had an audiobook like i would have already listened to it but i'll have to read it physically when i have the time then getting to the end i also have here a uh, legacy of ash hear me out some of my friends really dislike this book but there's something about it that really just like gets my attention i don't know i don't know how to explain it but there's something about this one that I just really want to read it. Apparently, it's also pretty darky, so I just really want to read it. Honestly, like in general, I just want to read it. But there's something about it. There's something about it. If you have read it, please let me know if you really liked it or not. 
but yeah some of it really disliked it so i was just like oh maybe it's not a good but i'm still thinking about it you know i'm just like hmm i want to read it <laughs> Then one that I 100% will be reading probably soon. This is The Quantum Magician by uh, Derek oof, Gunshkin. <laughs> is that how you say his name? I, I've been in an interview with him, but I'm really bad at names lately. Uh, I own House of Sticks, which I will be reading soon too, but I really want to read uh, his Quantum... Um, what is it called? The whole trilogy. Quantum Evolution, I think it's Quantum Evolution Trilogy. I just really want to read uh, pure sci-fi apparently, pretty hard sci-fi science fiction. Super excited about it. I don't know why, but I keep mixing this one with this book. And I thought they were the same <laughs> in my mind. So I never got around to reading this one because I thought it was the other one. Sometimes it happens. The Quantum Thief, yeah, sometimes it happens. Then, third to last, I have here uh, Ancillary Justice by Anne Leakey. Hear me out, I was very unlucky with Anne Leakey's uh, fantasy. I didn't like it, I actually DNF'd that book, The Raven Tower. So, I was pretty hesitant with reading her sci-fi, though I'm still quite curious about it. Everyone really likes it in general, but at the time, I think it was just too weird for me. So I'm giving it another chance. I really want to try it, so I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure most of you have read it, but military fantasy, fantasy, military sci-fi, my thing. So I'm probably going to like it. At least I hope so. <laughs> then second to last, I have here Illborn. Lately, I've been seeing this book all around in so many like best of the year book lists. I don't know. But I have to read it now. Like, I even follow the author on Twitter. There's something about this book that I just really want to figure out. So I probably will read it soon. It's just like, I have my eye <laughs> fixated on it. Like, I just want to read it. And that's it. I have no, no other motives. Look, I just want to read it. <laughs> and then the last one that I have here is The Counselor. Uh, I've had this book on my radar for uh, the entirety of last year. And it's probably because it's mostly uh, apparently political intrigue driven so i'm pretty excited about it but it was super hard to get a physical copy of it and i do really want a physical copy of this one i just don't want to just listen to the audiobook so i think that i maybe i'll wait for the paperback that's coming out on april that's going to be uh much easier to get but i'll try and get it sooner because i just really want to read it and it was so fucking expensive like almost 40 euros and i was just like i'm not paying for euros for a fucking book no way but yeah i just really want to read it i want it so badly so i'll get it soon a book all about political intrigue i mean i need it i want it those were all the books that i need to read this year have you read any of these do you have like one of those books that are just like yeah i have to read them because i've been stuck in this series for two years please in case you do just let me know down in the comments below but as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.